four. So are you dreading going to work this morning? Well, there's one place where people are knocking down the doors to get a job. Today, Fortune magazine names the 100 best companies to work for in America. And NBC's John Larson is standing by at the New York office of the company that is at the top of the list. John, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Matt. One of the things that's been so much fun about this particular story is that the reason this company is number one, one of many reasons, is that people are having so much fun here. This is uh, their game room where they come down and play video games or a little foosball during the course of the day if they want to. Now, if you missed the name of the company when we were teasing it before the break, I'll give you a hint. They've been in the news a lot this year with record profits, huge acquisitions. Many people know their name. In fact, the name of the company has now become its own verb in the dictionary. So while you're thinking about that, I'll show you why Fortune magazine thinks that this company is the killer place to work in America. First off, let's talk food. We have a stir fry of calamari with Chinese sausage. Imagine 11 gourmet restaurants in your office. We serve rack of lamb all the time. And all the food is free. Julie, salad. Now imagine a free fitness center. Come on, don't give up on me. <laughs> a barber shop that comes to you. Car washes while you work, pool tables in your office, lap pools for exercise, volleyball courts, and naturally, company massages. Sound like vacation? No, it's definitely not a vacation, but um, it's a pretty great place to work. Want to buy a hybrid? This company will give you $5,000 to do it. Want to wear your jammies to work? No problem. Do your laundry? Free. Some nice deep breath in and out. Got a cold? There are five doctors on site, and they are all free. There's a culture of appreciating your environment, your fellow human being, um, how it should be in Utopia. <laughs> Utopia may be a bit strong, but after studying hundreds of American companies, Fortune magazine this morning is announcing that Google is America's best company to work for. That's right, Google. All these perks are the product of the search engine giant based in Mountain View, California. This is the most engaging, insanely great work environment in corporate America. I mean, it blows your mind when you see all the food, um, the massage stations, the couches, the wacky behavior. You know, people are truly having a great time at work here. And what does Google get in return? Employees with tremendous job loyalty and productivity. Everything is sort of geared towards letting you focus on being productive and actually building a great product. Who work through the night if necessary and who tell us they have never had more fun. The vice president of people operations, Laszlo Bach. It seems like people here are way too happy. <laughs> Seriously, it, seems, it looks like a problem. They're way too happy. I want to see more frowns around here. Yeah, if, if that's a problem, I hope we have lots of problems of that nature. If there's a problem, it's success. Despite all these expensive perks, the company is posting record profits with huge margins and growing so fast that keeping this intimate culture will be a challenge. Google receives about 3,000 applications a day. That's about a million a year all chasing about 4,000 jobs. Jobs with drop-dead perks. Googlers, as they call themselves, can bring their pets to work, just as long as their co-workers don't mind pets or heavy breathing. That's better. It's nice to be able to share a little bit of your life with your, your co-workers. But will the company's founders wake up one day and realize their employees are having too much fun? Like these two clowning around in their silver capes? Oh, wait, those are Google's founders, billionaires Larry Page and Sergey Brin. I think a lot of the core philosophy about how we think about people comes from the hierarchy is bad, big monolithic teams are bad, and the opposite of those are good. Meaning small, creative teams, highly flexible, and so motivated... I'm a photographer, I'm going to take your picture from a helicopter about 500 feet above you. ...that Googlers are happy to do almost anything for their company including standing out in the rain for the Fortune magazine photo shoot. Uh, it could be a blizzard. People would still be out here. People love the company. So can I have a job? <laughs> no, I'm you just have, kidding. I'm really absolutely kidding. Can. I'm very happy where I am. Uh -huh. I'm not kidding, can I? No, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. And for the lucky ones who do get jobs at Google, they tell us it is easy to love this company and a little difficult to keep a straight face.
This is a phenomenal upgrade from my last employer. I love my job. I have more fun here than I do sometimes with my own family. <laughs> Wait, don't quote me on that. <laughs> Now this the issue comes out in about in a week. The uh, runner-up was Genentech. Whole Foods is also in there. Container Store and just a lot of great companies. Matt, John, I thought we had a good here at GEMBC. I may have to pull a Norma Ray and, and cut some kind of employee meeting after all this. John, yeah, it, it, exactly. I'll use you as a reference. <laughs> okay, John Larson. Thank you very much. Still right. ahead, we're going to take you down to.